This is the replacement Mopar lock I ordered. So it comes with the cylinder. The outside lock cover. Several pins. There's left and right pins and springs. The kit's going to come with four pins for the left and four pins for the right. They're all going to be labeled A, B, C, and D. So what I did is sorted the left and labeled them A, B, C, and D. And then I did the same thing with the right. I'm going to start with the right side here. And the way you identify the right versus the left is if you hold the opening towards you and you look at it, you'll see these circular openings um, next to the slot. And so the openings that are on the right is the right side. And then if you flip it around, the openings on the left are for the left side. And so that's where you're going to insert a spring. That's where the spring goes. And then once you insert the spring, you'll put the uh, pin in there and there's a tab that sticks out that's going to catch that spring. So I would recommend starting with one side and just doing one pin at a time. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert the spring followed by the pin. And what you're going to do is you're going to one at a time try A, B, C, D until you find the one that when you insert the key is flush with the outside of the cylinder. So you're going to repeat this for the four pins on the right side and then you'll flip it around and follow the same process for the three pins on the left side. Once you have all seven pins identified to the left and the right, you're going to want to insert the springs and the pins for the left side here, in my example. And then you'll want to hold the pins in place, flip it around, and do the same thing for the pins on the right side. So you want to be careful. You get the seven pins with these springs are going to want to pop out, so you'll want to make sure that you're holding everything together until you fully insert your key, which will hold those pins in place. Now you want to add lubricant to the pins there. So give it a good coating of grease on both sides and, and just rub that in. Okay, now it's time to put everything together. So this is the cover as for these little retaining tabs. So we'll insert the cylinder into the outer cylinder. So that spins around freely when the key's inserted. So you put the uh, cover down and then we're gonna fold over these four flaps on the outside of the uh, cover there to retain to the cylinder. All right, 
our lock is all assembled and ready to go. All right, so we'll add the gasket. And so looking at the gasket here, there's actually two notches. There's a larger one and a smaller one. So we want the larger notch to line up with the large notch here on the cylinder. So you just want to slide it down until the uh, gasket slides under the lips around the cylinder so it's nice and flush. To remove your old lock, open your door. On the inside here, you're going to see two black dots. So the top one is to remove your door handle. So we want to remove this little plastic cover for the bottom one, and you'll see a T25 Torx in there. So insert your Torx and loosen that all the way up till it pretty much stops. And once that's done, you should be able to just pull the lock cylinder out. Installation is basically just the reverse. So you want to pay attention to that notch that we were looking at. And so make sure that that's on the top there. So when you insert it, it lines up and will go right in. And then just tighten up that T25 Torx. And once you're done with that, Replace the sticker. Now give a test. And uh, you're done.